expectation of identify the kinds of accounts either that is that transactions or entries whether it is asset or liabilities expenses or income or capital based on this one question may be expected first one is assets in terms of assets first one is land and building plant and machinery furniture furniture vehicles cash in hand cash at bank bills receivable stock goodwill all these are it is the assets next coming to liabilities the liabilities includes creditors bills payable bank overdraft bank loan bank loan and outstanding expenses next expenses expenses will be plenty of expenses like salary paid rent paid repairs charges advertisement depreciation wages and n number of expenses like rent paid commission paid interest paid discount allowed bad debts all these will be treated as the expenses and next coming to incomes under incomes sales under expenses we will record purchase under expenses it is purchase under income it is sales so sales interest received interest received commission received dividend received these are the incomes and next one coming to capitals under this capitals we record one it is the the capital investment of the partners Uh, sorry owners and the drawings made by the owners so this informations are the very less items which i given very plenty of entries or left over or plenty of entries will be appearing in this concept yes from the following information find the kinds of the account whether it is relating to the capital a e l i c asset expenses liabilities incomes capital now the capital is the belonging to capital even the drawings also capital account next purchase goes to the expenses purchase goes to expenses and sales goes to income debtors goes to assets creditors goes to liabilities bills receivable is an asset bills payable is a liabilities wages is an expenses interest paid is also an expenses interest received is an income salary paid is an expenses that's it problems on purchase book during 2022 this are the purchases has been made from different person on 1st january purchase goods from rakshana street whenever name of a person is given it means that the goods is purchased for credit only credit purchase should appear into the purchase book the cash purchases shouldn't appear in it now purchase goods from rakshana street so date is 1st january 2022 and invoice number if it is given we have to record it here and i need to write the name of the person it is rakshana stri amount of purchase is 80000 first concern is over second one is 3rd january 3rd january 2022 purchased goods from stri krish stri krish the amount is rupees 20000 
coming to third one purchased goods from tanshika rupees 50000 so date is 712022 the person from whom we have purchased is tanshika rupees 50000 over fourth one is 10th january 2022 purchased goods from yashvi so we have to write the name of yashvi and the amount of purchase is 20000 of course now 11th january purchased goods from vistrut 15000 11th jan 2022 vistrut amount is 15000 and 15th january purchased computer from prithvi rupees 60000 of course purchase of computer is not the goods it is an assets therefore we have to ignore the purchase of computer that's it about this problem you have to make a total 80 plus 20 1 lakh plus 50 1 lakh 50 170 one 185 overall total credit purchase is made it is 1 lakh 85000 this is total purchase that's it problems on sales book now even in this problems also whenever the name of a person it is given it is treated as the credit transaction now this is the problems on sales book the transaction has been made it is into the february 2022 the date is 1st february 2022 sold goods to mohan we have to write the name of mohan if the invoice number is given that we have to record it there the total sales has been made to mohan is 75000 next sold goods to vignesh for cash cash sales shouldn't appear next one is third one santosh purchased goods from us it is given for santosh it is purchase and for us it is the sales sales for us so therefore my sales is purchased for my customer my customer purchase from means that sales for me so therefore i have to mention the name of santosh on 3rd february 2022 the amount is 10000 next one is sold furniture costing rupees 20000 again furniture should not appear because furniture is an asset and next one is the 10th sold goods to sunil rupees 10000 at a discount of rupees 10% the date it is 10th february 2022 sold goods to whom sunil sold goods to sunil the amount of sales is 10000 minus 10% that is 10000 minus 1000 rupees is the discount the remaining we get it is 9000 that's all all the entries finished taking we have to make a total this total is called as the total sales 75 85 plus 9 94000 that's it about this problem this is the problem about analytical petty cash problems so this chapter it is the recording transactions under that petty cash book petty means small small cash book in an organization there will be some small expenses will appear that will not be recorded into the main cash book that will be recorded into the small cash book that is the petty cash book and these expenses will be recorded into analytical petty cash book because analytical means columnar why they maintain this columnar petty cash because uh, how much is the amount spent on the different expenses during that particular period of time so analytical petty cash book also is called as the columnar petty cash book right yes come let's enter into the problem from the following information prepare analytical petty cash book again this is 2022 march petty cash received rupees 1 lakh under this petty cash book we will not maintain like debit and credit columns but we will record it is into left hand side and the right hand side so cash received we record it it is into the 
left hand side and amount what we spend it is recorded it is into the right hand side so the left hand side we will record it as cash received and in right hand side we will record it as the cash paid and apart from that we maintain some columns to know the individual expenses of different expenses first one is the printing and stationery let me write it as in shortcut p and s the second one is the paid for postal charges therefore let me record it is the postal and telegram and the third one is it is paid for traveling expenses so that let me write it as t e traveling expenses and next one is the paid for cortege that can be recorded as coolie and cortege coolie and cortege and last one is paid for wages yes like that we can make it as different for different expenses different columns we can maintain it as that's it now very first one is i should write this is particulars and this is date yes the first one is the on 1st March cash received to cash account to cash account the amount has been received rupees 1000 that I am writing in left hand side and the next one is paid for printing and stationery on 3rd 33 by printing and stationery the amount is rupees 100 and 20 you write in printing and stationary column 120 remaining and all it is dash that is the speciality of the analytical petty cash next one is sixth sixth march paid for postal by postal rupees 150 so printing and stationary is dash in postal and telegram column you record this 150 remaining you make it as dash and coming to third one is 10th 10th march paid for traveling expenses traveling expenses the amount is 180 so in terms of traveling expenses 180 dash and dash okay after that we have the date is 15th so let me record the next date it is the 15th march i spent the amount for cortege cortege the amount is 50 therefore in coolie and cortege let me record 50 remaining and all it is dash and next one is the paid for wages so 22nd 3 i'll write here it is wages the amount is rupees 100 so dash 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 and in wages column rupees 100 that's it all the expenses it is over make a total of this what is our total total yes the total is 600 so if you total it up the overall total amount paid is also 600 and individually paid if we totally put also we get the same 600 now what is the meaning behind that it is we have received thousand rupees from the cashier out of thousand rupees we have spent rupees 600 remaining what will be the cash available in our hand it is 400 rupees will be available in our hand that 400 what is available in our hand it is called as balance carried on how you will get rupees thousand minus 600 it is called as the 400 now we shall make a total of both the side left hand side is we have 1000 rupees and right hand side also bring the same total 1000 rupees okay now what we have to write for this date is 31st march and now we have to write in the next month on 1 4 you should write it as to balance brought down what is the cash available in our hand it is 400 rupees that is to balance brought down sometimes in a problem they will give impressed petty cash impressed petty cash impressed petty cash means that every month we have to maintain the 
same amount of the cash under that situation if it is the impressed petty cash means that you have to receive the what amount has been spended already what is the amount you have spent already is 600 that 600 should be recorded into the left hand side and that will be received from the cashier therefore we write it as cash account in case if you receive the check we will record it as the bank account even here also if the check is received we will record it into the bank if the cash is received from the cashier we will record the cash account that's it about this problem the topic which i am covering now it is trial balance we are going to do the one problem on trial balance so in this trial balance the idea of doing this recording of amount into debit and credit the logic here it is and the rules here it is debit said we record assets and credit side we record liabilities debit side we record expenses and credit side we record income and debit side we record losses and credit side we record gains now let us see the entries very one first one the capital will appear into the credit side because it is the liabilities the drawings will appear into the debit side debtors will appear into debit side because it is an asset the creditors will appear into credit side bills receivable will appear into debit side because it is an asset bills payable it is the credit side liabilities purchase debit side because an expenses sales credit side because an income purchase return will appear into credit side and sales return will appear into debit side to do this problem it is very easy for that same questions i have made the amount it is separately now capital the amount will appear into credit column rupees 1 lakh and the drawings will appear into debit side rupees 5000 debtors will appear into debit side 75000 creditors will appear in credit side 20,000 bills receivable rupees 80,000 will appear in debit bills payable rupees 10,000 will appear in credit purchase rupees 1 lakh 60,000 will appear in debit sales rupees 2 lakhs will appear in credit because it is an income purchase return rupees 8,000 will appear in credit side because purchase in debit side purchase return will appear in credit side now the sales in credit side and the sales return rupees 18000 will appear into debit side that's it now we have to make a total of this the total of both the side is 3,38,000 so that the total of debit and credit is correct therefore the trial balance also is correct that's it about this trail balance.